in one of my previous videos i showed you how we can use individual led matrices to display a scrolling message using the arduino board i'll put the link in the video description below so you can make some reference but today i'm going to be showing how we can display a scrolling message using this kind of display it's called f16 display in this case the 8x8 led matrix displays have already been combined using a pcb board and when you're going to program this with arduino it's very simple when you're using the parola library and that is what i'm going to be showing you today now i will show you how to run the program display in this case you have to make sure that you have the parallel library so to do that you have to first check whether that library is installed on your arduino ied so we go to the include library then manage libraries so here we are going to show all the available libraries in your arduino ide type here md max yeah so you make sure you have the three libraries md max 7 to xx md max panel and md parola so if you don't have make sure you type if this one is updating you can update then even this one all these ones are installed that's why you see here already installed them so if you don't have we make sure you install them on your Arduino IDE so after making sure that those libraries are installed then we can look for the program we are going to use to run our display so we come to file and get the examples from the md parola there are very many examples here which you use but in this case we are interested in the scrolling one so we go to scrolling and it's going to give you the one you want here so the major idea here in other words the program has already been written for you you only need to change a few things for example in our hardware we are using the f c16 display so you have to change this one from parola hw to fc16 yeah then the maximum number of devices in our case we are going to be using four devices so we are going to change from eight to four then we leave these pins and take note make sure the pins are connected in this order because when this library was being programmed they programmed it for the pins to work in this order if your pins from the display and the arduino board are put in a different order you may find some problems so make sure the pins are in this order yeah basically that's it or maybe if you want you can change the scrolling you can speed the direction and the speed can also be changed if you want for example here i can change the scroll speed from 25 i can put it to 30 now i want let me keep scrolling left then i can change my pause this one is 2000 milliseconds all the seconds i can change it to one okay then this is the initial message like when you switch on your board or when you upload the program the display should show this message then from there you use the serial monitor to change 
de message. You can now upload the code and see what is going to be displayed. Yeah, so now we are displaying a message there, but it's not very clear, so we can put a simple screen so the message can be seen more clearly. In this case, I'm going to use a white piece of paper as my screen. Yeah, like that. So here it is telling you to enter a new message. So we are going to use our serial monitor to put a message that is going to be displayed here. So after uploading the message and you want to change the message that's being scrolled on the display, we use the serial monitor. The message that is going to be typed on the serial monitor is the one that is going to be displayed. But before you do that, you make sure that the bound rate here is 57,600 bound. Because this is the rate of transfer of information between the display and the serial monitor. If you use a different rate, it may not work. So, if I put, for example, welcome, enter. So now the message has changed to welcome. If I want, I can put another message. Like, thanks for watching. The message good. So in other words, the message that is being displayed is controlled by the serial monitor.